The nation's fleet of warships would get smaller in the coming year under the Navy's proposed budget for fiscal year 25. That plan came under fire today on Capitol Hill. Mike Gooding with the details. It's not the news lawmakers wanted to hear. The Navy fleet would drop from 293 deployable ships of today to 286 ships next year under the branch's proposed budget for FY25. The $257.6 billion request, including $33 billion for new shipbuilding, seeks only six new Battle Force ships, while at the same time decommissioning 13 vessels, including 10 before the end of their expected service life. The Navy continues to retire ships faster than it builds them, and I'm troubled by the Navy's request to decommission 10 ships before the end of their service life. And I'm concerned by the lack of a defined plan for growing our fleet. We cannot continue to divest ships without investing adequately in ship construction. But Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Lisa Franchetti told the House Appropriations Defense Subcommittee that the Navy is doing the best it can with the hand it was dealt by Congress. Given the discretionary spending caps prescribed by the Fiscal Responsibility Act and a top-line increase of 0.7 percent, the Navy had to make tough choices. And Franchetti said it's not just ships. The Navy could also end up short of people. We are about 18,000 billets short at sea right now. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. The CNO said that our most important resource is our people. She noted quality of life improvements the Navy is making, including improved barracks and better access to more affordable child care, embedding mental health care providers with units, and providing sailors with high-quality food and free Wi-Fi.